Hello my loves or welcome back. I hope that you are super good today. So what we're going to do today is how do they feel about you. Um, so just some updates before we get going. Obviously you can tell that I am nearing the end of the pregnancy now. Um, I am going on maternity leave on the 4th of August. So my last working day with you guys <coughs> is going to be the 3rd. Okay so if you want voice note readings I am doing them up until that point. All my video readings are now fully booked before I go on leave. Okay, so videos fully booked, voice note readings available until the 3rd. That flame go crazy. Um, so if you need me, just get in touch. You can find me on Instagram. I'm going to be putting all the updates on Instagram. I'll try and put them on Facebook, though I'm not very good at using it. Sorry, guys. Um, and on YouTube as well. I'll try to put some posts on there so you can see what's going on. Um, I'm allowed to work occasional days over the nine month off. So space is going to be super, super limited. And it's really important that you book sooner rather than later when those days come up. So do, like I said, follow us on Instagram, us being me and me guides, at Mr. Love Tarot. You'll see the little blue tick. That is me. Um, and that is your lot. So uh, baby news, I am, um, she's coming early, which is hence why everything's a little bit chaos around us. We were meant to be due on the 27th of August um, and they've decided that she needs to be delivered early. So she's coming now on the 9th of August. Things have moved forward a little bit by like three weeks. So it was a bit, we were getting delivered on the 37th week. So it's only only like 30 days to go or something like that. Um, so I'm just kind of prepping you all, letting you know. So just a quick recap. 4th of August is when I start maternity leave. Voice note readings up until the 3rd, okay? And then stay in touch on Instagram for the updates. And put a, I've pre-recorded a bunch of maternity readings to put out each week for you. So you'll still get the updates on YouTube. I think that's everything, she says. So how do they feel about you? Dead out breath. I forget how hard the bloody third trimester is, honestly. Like, you can, to, <laughs> the second time going through it, I'm like, oh my God, is it this tough? It really is. So how do they feel about you? Deck number one and deck number two, I want you to pick the decks you are most drawn to. This is the Spacious Tarot and this is the Lunar Soul Tarot. Okay, both very pretty decks. And I'm just going to get cracking. How do they feel about you? Deck number one. So as always, it works on the collective energy between you all. Take what resonates, leave a what does not. And we're going to go into the collective energy of all your people. So how kind of like we worked out the averages when we do averages. Um, it goes into all of your energy. I go into all of your energy, all of your people's energy and pull up the strongest link between you all. And that's how I work collective readings. So how do they feel about you? Let's go. So for those of you that read tarot, we have the King of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Star. Let's get two more. The Chariot. I'll show you the cards as we go along so you can see them. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Right off the bat... We've got a bit of a whole lot of uh, stagnancy and it kind of like things not really progressing how you want them to be progressing at this point in time. Now, the reason why. The first two cards tell us everything we need to know, really. So you've got the King of Swords and you've got the King of Pentacles. So your person, the person that you are asking about, very much in their head over the situation. OK, so the King of Swords. They are acting on logic. They are acting on their mind. They are probably getting a thousand thoughts a second and not coming up with any solutions on it all. So what they want to do with the King of Pentacles is take their time. OK, they want this relationship to grow. They can see that. <coughs> excuse me. They can see that the two of you can build a solid foundation. They can see that you are potentially someone that they could spend the rest of their lives with, that they can build and grow with. Um, that this connection can be secure and it can be stable and it can be everything that you want it to be but they just go up in their head about it and when they go up in their head about it their actions can sometimes be a little bit shitty okay so this could be potentially ghosting hiding away from the situation not really going into the depth of it their energy their communication can sometimes be a bit blunt it can sometimes be a bit direct so you watching might feel that you've got a little bit of whiplash, okay? Because one second they're like, well, we can build, we can grow. 
let's see what happens. And then the next second you're like, but uh, I'm just going to go quiet for a while. And that's where the per your person's thoughts are, okay? Emotion wise, they haven't allowed them to grow specifically yet. And the reason I'm saying that is because we haven't got any emotional cards coming into your deck. So they are very much acting on the stability and the security and of the mind, okay? Now that's not to say they don't care about you and they haven't got feelings for you. But when we're asking them what are their feelings towards you, it's definitely more of I can see that this could work out, but I wanna just chill with it and see what happens, see where we go, see if I can let emotions grow. We've got the star coming up, which is good, okay? So the two of you and, and their feelings for you, again, they are quite future focused on this, that they can see that you guys can have a future. They can see that you guys are on the right path and there's forward movement coming up, that the two of you can work together, grow together, bond together. We've got hope that this can work out. We've got hope that you are the person that they want to be with. But I just got that Taylor Swift song, the one with Ed Sheeran. I, I can't stand Ed Sheeran. <laughs> um, but I just want to know you better, I'm getting. Um, and, and that's kind of the energy. They want to bond with you. They want to grow with you. They want to get to know you better. And that's where the star comes in, that power of hope, that power of faith, that power of movement. So they see the potential, okay? And through potential, they see growth. And through potential and growth, they have feelings that can grow to okay so it might be that you guys are just at the start of the relationship as well or it just hasn't really progressed yet to get those kind of feelings we've got the chariot okay so another good card coming up over here the chariot always kind of about this forward movement so again with the chariot and the star two cards kind of saying you know the chariot's going for what you want reaching for the stars and reaching and getting it and the stars about movement of hopes and dreams and, and aspirations so we've got forward movement coming up with your person. So again, they can see that there's potential for the future of you guys to work out. And then the last card you got is the Four of Pentacles. So they are just chilling with it, okay? They are holding on to the situation. They are holding on to the connection. They are waiting to see how it all unfolds. So when we're asking about their feelings for you overall, just as a quick recap, they haven't allowed them to fully come up to the surface, but that doesn't mean they don't see the potential. So this reading for you guys is all about where it can go next, okay? So they've got their potential to catch feels for you. Perhaps they haven't just allowed them to happen yet, but with some time and getting to know each other, that can happen. And that's deck number one. It's pretty cool. I like that. Deck number one's a good read. A good read. Okay. So I'm going to scoot over to deck number two now. So guys, if you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, um, I have got updates at the start about maternity leave um, and what's going to happen there and how to book with me, okay? So what we're doing is how does your person feel about you? As always, take what resonates, leave, leave what doesn't because it's working on the collective energy. So how does your person you're asking about feel about you? Let's have a look. Oh, death nice isn't it good start <laughs> ten of cups wheel of fortune and the hermit we've got a bunch of major arcanas coming here and let's get one more six of swords okay let's go through the majors so whenever we get major arcanas these are like the major shit that's happening in someone's life the big deals and you have got three of them out of five cards so this situation is quite a mega situation. There's a lot of emotions, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of feelings, um, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of chemistry, there's a lot of perhaps stuff that's happened between you guys, baggage, difficult times, conflicting situations, stuff that's all happened prior to this going on. Priya? Prior to this going on. If your name is Priya, there's a little, little message in that for you. Um, so your person's feelings for you. They have very, very strong emotions with the 10 of cups over here. They have very strong feelings for you. They are feelings of love. They have feelings of joy. They have feelings of contentment. We have the key, okay, Hecate's key. 
Hecate is key. <laughs> um, we have the key to unlocking the pathways and unlocking the doors and seeing the unknown. So this is a more spiritual connection happening between you guys, but it's also a love-based connection. They have got real feelings for you, but there just seems to have been a lot of ick or baggage and stuff that's happened that has caused the situation to go the way it has gone. Um, emotions have been upturned spirit is saying to me but it's kind of starting to level out a little bit at this point in time now the death card coming in first and foremost in their feelings for you so whenever we see the death card people are like oh my god it's death it's like terrible isn't it when you watch a, <coughs> a movie and the death card comes out and you're like oh my god the death card um but what it's saying is there is a transition that's happening with your person's emotions and feelings for you at this point in time which is actually a positive, okay? So from the death card, where things are transforming with this love-based energy, we go to the wheel of fortune, which is saying things are gonna turn into your favor. So what's happened with your person is they've had this kind of stuff going on with you. They're having a bit of a reality check now that perhaps you are the person that they want to be with, you are the person that they can see a future with, um, and that they haven't handled the situation in an appropriate or correct way. OK, and they have feelings for you. So what they're doing now is they're weighing up their choices. They're thinking about with the Hermit and Knight Six of Swords coming in as well. They're thinking about the connection and what can happen next between you guys. Thinking it all through, perhaps withdrawn from this, um, but knowing that there is love and that there are feelings. So if you aren't in contact and you think your person is over you, you are mistaken. There are very, very strong emotions here, very, very strong feelings here and very strong feelings of love as well. But they just have stuff's happened, right? Stuff's happened between you and they're just like, I'm just going to take a bit of a breather. I'm going to take a little bit of a break from it all. But they're realising with the death card as well that things can't go on the way they have been going on. And there needs to be this transformation and the transformation over here with the wheel as things heading into your favour, into the pathway that you want to tread. So even though waters might be a little bit murky at the moment, and again, your situation, they might be hiding away, reflecting, running away from it, thinking I'm just going to take time out, gone ghost, etc, etc. What they're doing at this point in time is they are reflecting on this, reflecting on the connection, reflecting on the situation between you both. And through that period of reflection, you have transformation of the love that you share for things to turn into your favour. So when we're looking at your person's feelings over it all, very strong emotions of love. Perhaps a little bit disappointed at this point in time of how things have played out. A little bit panicky, knowing that their things have got to change for you two to be together or for you two to grow. Um, feeling emotionally sad about the way things have been working out. Tiptoeing around the situation. That means as well that they're probably watching your social media. Um, and just kind of seeing what happens and seeing where it goes. But there is a lot of emotions and there is a lot of love here. It's just that it hasn't quite gone the way you guys want it to. So it needs to have that epic transformation for it to work out with you guys. But feeling wise and emotion wise, there's a lot of love. And that's deck number two. So if you need me, again, I am around until the, the my last working day is the 3rd of August. You can find me on Mr. Love Tarot, £10 per question for same day voice note same day voice note return reading so you ask your question i give you the answer over voice note and it's 10 pound a question and you'll get your answer today if you want your answer today and that's up until the 3rd of august then maternity leave is starting because this little chicken over here is getting ready to give birth <laughs> Round two, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> no sleeping. I've got, I've, you know, like you think back and you're like, oh my God, how did I do it first time? And I've got to do it again with a toddler. And it's quite petrifying, really. Um, But, you know, let's see. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Um, and also because I'm having the cesarean as well, like the major surgery. So it needs this kind of epic healing time and recovery time. So if you do message me and it's past the 4th of August, just bear in mind that it might take me a while to respond but I'll put all the updates on you so you know when she's landed when she's born um probably her name as well not that we've worked that one out yet um any name ideas pop them in the description bonus points for if it's Brazilian and a goddess name um and that's it lots of love guys see you later ciao